Hey now, Mike Shaman here, and today I'm just going to go through Gravity Forms versus Fluent Forms, which is the best form plugin for you to use for your WordPress website. Both these form options are great options for you to use for your WordPress website. But let's go a little bit deeper and find out the differences and the similarities between Gravity Forms and Fluent Forms. One of the biggest things is that Gravity Forms has been around for a while and it is very established in the WordPress market. Fluent Forms is a new and up and comer in the forms market for the WordPress websites and Gravity Forms is established. And that kind of plays into one of the first things that we're going to talk about is that Gravity Forms has been here and there are a lot of integrations for Gravity Forms and a lot of different developers have worked with Gravity Forms before. So there is a lot of third party integrations that you can use for Gravity Form along with the integrations that Gravity Forms already has. Now Fluent Forms is relatively new to WordPress compared to Gravity, but it has been a, uh, they have a lot of really nice integrations and features that you can use with Fluent Forms. And we're gonna go through some of those and compare some of those features to what Gravity Forms has. And then we can make a decision on whether you want to use Gravity Forms or you want to use Fluent Forms. So here's some of the integrations you can see. You know, MailChimp, Slack, Zapier, HubSpot, Twilio, Active Campaign. A lot of the same ones that uh, Gravity Forms has right here. You can see PayPal, MailChimp, uh, Zapier, Twilio. Okay. Since Fluent Forms is a newer website form builder, the interface is a little bit cleaner and it is a little bit more, um, I don't know, modern, so to say, the way it looks. They're both responsive forms. They both fold up very nicely on all devices. You can see right here, the Fluent Forms has a nice little GIF animation going on here of how it folds up nicely. Okay, now let's go to the pricing. Okay, we'll compare the price right now just to, to see what it is. The single site license for Fluent Forms, $59. The five site is 99 and the unlimited is 199 and the Gravity Forms, let's go to the pricing. All right, you can see the pricing right here for Gravity Forms. Uh, $59 per year for one site, $159 for three sites, and $259 for unlimited site. All right, and of course with the Elite License, the $259, you have all the Pro and Elite add-ons. And for Fluent Forms, you have all the features right here for the Unlimited License as well. Now, I will say that if you get, if you are thinking about getting these forms and you're doing a lot of websites, I would say get the unlimited license and get the elite license, no doubt, because it'll pay itself back. And if you are making websites for your agency or for clients, it's gonna pay itself back with the first website that you do. Because what you can do is you can just offer your Gravity Forms or you can offer your Fluent Forms as just a standard item for with your website. This is gonna make it to where your clients, this is something standard that you do that's gonna set you apart from your other from other people out there in the world. You get a professional looking form on your website. All right, now let's get into some of the things that each of these form plugins will do. So if we go to the back in here, I already have my Gravity Form and Fluent Form installed on the same website here, so we can do a little bit of comparison. All right, this is the back end. When you go to Forms, this is what you get for Gravity. Now, when you go to Forms and Fluent Forms, this is what you get for Fluent Forms. So you can see the difference already in the interface here. All right, the short code right here for Fluent Forms, so you can easily copy and paste this form on any web page on your website. All right, and this form will show up with this code. You can see it has the entries, the views, and conversion percent right here. Now, Gravity Forms does this as well. It has right here entries, views, conversion. It does not have the short code. What you have to do to get to the short code is you have to go to your application, you have to go to edit, and then right here it displays the form ID. And now that's gonna be the form ID. So th there is a roundabout way of getting this. You need to go to page and you need to add a new page. Now when you add a new page, you can see that it says add form right here. So you just hit add form and then it comes to this box. You just go to select form, your application form and you can choose if you want a title or no title and description. All right, and then enable Ajax for developers and stuff. Okay, and then uh, tab index, advanced options. We'll just go to insert form. And there's our short code for our gravity forms, okay? So that's how you're going to get the short code for gravity forms. Now, if you copy and paste this any page on your website, that form will show up with that short code right there. So for ease of use, it really has to go to Fluent Forms as into the short code uh, right here. Very easy. You just copy this right here, and it'll copy that to your clipboard. Now, let's go to Add a New Form. When you're adding a new form with Fluent Forms, you just go to Add Form. And you can actually go to, when you go to create a new form, it has this pre-made templates pop up, okay? And you can select uh, contact form, 
newsletters, support, polling forms. So it has all these pre-made forms already for you, which is super nice. This is a super nice feature that this has. Okay, you can just click whatever one you want and it'll create a form in just a few seconds for you there. So it's really nice. Or you can just go to create a blank form right down here at the bottom. So just go to create a blank form. All right, now let's go create a new form in Gravity Forms. So when you're on your page here, you go to add new. The form pops up, you put in the form title. All right, and then let's go to create form. All right, now here's the form for Gravity Forms. Let's go back over and see the Fluent Form page. And this is the Fluent Form page. So you can see the interfaces are, they're kind of similar, but they're also uh, completely different as well. Over here is gonna be your options for Gravity Form. You can drag and drop your text right here. You can just see some of the fields they have. All right, the advanced fields are right here as well. Post fields, and then the pricing fields if you were to add a product. Okay, now the Fluent Forms has these as well. You can see the, the interface is a little bit different here. Fluent Forms here. Now, if you were to start building a form, you would just go to General Fields here and you just go to drag and drop right here. You go to Email Address. Now, one thing that this Fluent Forms does have is containers. Okay, so what this means is that you can choose to do two columns, one column, three column, four column, five column, six column. So if you wanted to, uh, you know, spread it out here, make it look a little bit different. If you want name fields here, maybe you want the email address here. Maybe you want to short up the form just a little bit. We just deleted that part right there. So you can do those things with the with Fluent Forms. However, with Gravity Forms, if you wanted to do those types of things, if you want to do one column, two column, you need to add your text over here and you need to add your drop down, whatever you want it to be. Now, if you wanted to put those in two columns side by side, you need to go to the Gravity Form CSS Ready class, okay? And then you can go to CSS name down here and it'll put them in columns. Now, I've done a tutorial on this. If you need to see it, if you are gonna be using Gravity Forms, it's very easy. I'll just go down to the, the form right here and in the class, go to Appearance and the Custom class right here, okay? and you can see the custom class and that's where you're going to want to enter the custom class that they specify right there and you're going to want to enter that as well for right here so you can see how gravity forms is a little bit more older than fluent forms and they're kind of trapped in that system that they have right now because they have so many integrations it's going to be hard for them to change anything since there are a lot of third-party integrations already connected with that the only way they're going to be able to change it is if they come out with like kind of a new version as in like a new plugin for Gravity Forms. We can see some of the other things they have here in Fluent Forms for advanced fields is that when you go to the preview here, we're in the preview form, you can go to this, they have this box right here and it says form style template. And this is where if you want to give your form a different look. This is a huge feature that Gravity Forms does not offer. They don't offer styling. If you want to offer, if you want to style the Gravity Forms, you're going to need to do it with uh, CSS. All right, now if you want to do it with Fluent Forms, you just come back here and it says Form Style Template Custom. And this is where you can start customizing all your different things, background area, okay, color, wh whatever you want to do, you, you can start doing that right here. It's going to take a minute for you to play around with it and find where all the items are. But this is a huge item that uh, Gravity Forms does not offer that uh, Fluent Forms does offer. Okay, leave this form. See the settings and integrations here. All right, you can see that you can redirect this page to wherever you like. Okay, you can go to the same page and display a thank you message as well as a different page within your website or if you wanted to go to a custom URL. So after they submit that, maybe they go to a different product or a different website that you have. That's where you would place this as well or that's where you place the URL and Gravity Forms has this as well. If you go to settings and form settings, confirmations, and then you go to uh, text if you want the message, if you want to go to a page or if you want to redirect to a URL as before. So that's kind of pretty equal right there. And then you can just see some of the other features that Fluent Forms has. Now this change any of this stuff here. All right, you can choose the label placement. Okay, you can choose the description level CSS name. Okay, the form button there. All right, and you, if you want to, to do some, some of those things on um, Fluent Forms, you can do those as well. So here's some of the settings there. Now Gravity Forms does have, like I said, Gravity Forms is a little bit more friendly for integrations as in developer integrations. So there are some other things down here that you can choose. Let's go to add-ons and compare some of the add-ons here. So we're just gonna click add-ons here for gravity and let's go to, so if you go back here to modules for Fluent Forms, just click on modules and you'll come to where you have all the integrations for Fluent Forms. 
All right, and you can see the web hooks, Zapier, MailChimp there, okay? I can see you have um, enabled, disabled here. So you can see some of the ones they have here for Fluent Forms. Now let's go over to Gravity. Here's some of the ones they have for Gravity, okay? All right, Aweber, Get Response, okay? Camp campaign Monitor, all right? So you can see all the, the ones they have there. The signature add-on, that's a very popular add-on, doing applications and stuff. Square and Stripe for uh, payment, for payment gateways. User registration add-on, that's a very popular one as well. Now, uh, Fluent Forms does have that as well. So they have, uh, let's see here. Well, I have the user registration form added on right there. All right, so you can see some of the things that you can do, some of the add-ons that you can have with Fluent Forms and with Gravity Forms. So now this really comes down to which form plugin do you want for your WordPress site? You've seen both of them now. You've seen the Gravity Forms and you've seen the Fluent Forms. You've seen how easy it is to make forms with each one. The drag and drop editors of each of the Gravity Forms and Fluent Forms make it extremely easy for you to make forms with each platform. I'm not gonna pick which one you should choose You've seen the details. I've been working with Gravity Forms for a long time. Flute Forms is new to me and I've been using it for a little bit now, but I must say I like this plugin as well and I wouldn't be, I would be comfortable using Fluent Forms or Gravity Forms on my WordPress websites for my clients. One of the things that it does for your clients as well that saves forms in the back end, okay? So Fluent Forms right here, you should go to entries. It saves the entries in the back end. Same thing with Gravity Forms. If you go to entries right here, it saves all the entries of the forms in the back end. This saves you from your client saying, or somebody went to my website and filled out a form and I didn't receive the form. Now we don't have a copy of it. You can say, hold on just a minute. Let me go in the back of the website and see if anything's saved back there. You can come back here to where it's saved and you can view all the entries of that form and look at that specific person's form entry. So that's a very cool feature that both these forms have and it's very important to have that feature when dealing with clients and working on WordPress websites. So I hope you guys got some value out of this video and I hope you choose one of these form website or one of these form plugins for your website. Go ahead and click the links below. There's a Gravity Forms link and there's also a Fluent Forms link. Like I said, they're both great form plugins. Go ahead and check them out for yourself. In my other tutorial videos, go ahead and check them out. A lot of Gravity Forms tutorial videos and I should be making some more Fluent Form tutorial videos here soon. So go ahead and check those out guys and I'll see y'all in the next video.